We credit whisky to the Scots and the Irish, though Japan was quaffing it before they heard of the British Isles. We should rather credit those Celts with chutzpah. America's chutzpah is something else. They call their whisky bourbon, stolen from France, notice, and they actually legislated that only Americans could make it. Then there's Bermuda's rum, there's Mexico's tequila, there's Russia's vodka. What about us? We're seasoned at producing alcohol and excellent at consuming it. Surely we can assemble a liquor to make Earth think well of the tip of Africa? Macheu, Chwala. Right now you'd get longer odds on that than on Gavin Watson for Businessman of the Year. But not so fast. Someone might recalculate Macheu and turn its graph vertical. Recall that Belgians thought that their Stella Artois was plowman's beer until exports made it premium. Now how about Mampur? I met Mampur in the Mariko, its heartland, on a memorable night. That is, the first half was memorable. It was euphoria time, big national love-in under Mandela, a classic farmhouse, bushveld forever, Bura with huge boops and huger beards, are brying steak for two armies, and reveling in their first flush of Simunya, we are one. I'm with a colleague, Vusi. A year earlier, Vusi would have been an unlikely guest here. Now he's new best friend. Brotherhood flows as abundantly as beer. When the stakes are done, Mampur appears, wrapped in barbed wire. Quite a masterstroke. Packaging your product to draw blood makes a distinctive statement. In no time, Vusi and I are converts. We are certainly at one, declaring Mampur as the greatest and denouncing the prejudices that have barred this homegrown nectar of the gods from spreading beyond the bushveld. We appoint ourselves its agents as of our return tomorrow. I do recall tomorrow making a slow start, but we proudly brought our barbed bottles home and discovered a sad truth. In the Mariko, Mampur is delectable. In the suburbs, it tastes like lawnmower oil. There's no explaining that, but there it is. You taste Mampur in Joburg, you know why your bottle store doesn't stock it. Years later, lunch in my garden, a guest asks for the barbed wire bottle. I pour a glass, I add ice, the ice sinks, he stares, he blinks, he knocks it back, for a little while he's static, then he rises, he flings his glass, shattering on my neighbor's driveway, and he pushes our stately old lady Labrador, boom, into the pool. There's a move now for more flavor and less alcohol, even going so far as letting the ice float. I think that the idea of Mampur light was once unthinkable, but the world advances. Go forth and conquer Mampur, conquer in a drinkable, potable form, and try sneaking in Macheu too. Our liquids might yet revive our exports, perhaps also that taste of oneness. Music